This isn't your average marijuana farm. It's greener. This farm is one of the few to use organic growing methods. I think for a lot of growers, it's just they started growing and maybe they weren't a farmer or didn't have a lot of experience in agriculture. And so, you know, the accepted practices in the dark ages of prohibition, there was none. Those dark ages saw a dark side to growing marijuana. It takes a lot of pesticides, especially when plants susceptible to mildew and mite infestations are grown indoors. Without federal regulations, cannabis growers are left with no clear choice about which pesticides to spray on their crops. That can lead to unknown environmental and health consequences. That's why pot farmer Johnny Vanilla is trying a different approach. Instead of spraying potentially harmful synthetic pesticides, he's controlling infestations with predatory insects and microorganisms. Vanilla plants his crops mostly outdoors. That conserves energy and prevents the molds that can plague indoor grows. I do everything I can do to produce a clean, quality crop organically. I can feel good about it. But do consumers care? Hey, V, how's it going? Good, how are you guys doing? I'll do another smell test. At Gorge Greener in Hood River, Oregon, owner so Kirsten Cook sells only sustainable products. We're right now in an industry that's just booming and consuming and there's no regulations and I think that we just have to be careful since we're such a progressive movement is to be a little more progressive thinking in both health-wise and sustainability. She says it's not just the environment at stake. There's not been a lot of research on inhaling pesticide residue. We don't know what pesticide consumption and inhalants is going to do with us in the long term and I just think that that is absolutely important. To not even put yourself at that kind of a risk is a key for us. Cook says more people are trying to avoid that risk, even when they're indulging in a newly legal drug. There is always a vice of some sort, and we just want to make sure that we're offering a clean vice. Prices are higher for cannabis that has an organically grown certification, and it's more expensive for growers to use alternative growing methods to control pests. Yields can also be lower. 9.86. But Vanilla thinks organically produced marijuana is just going through some of the growing pains that organic food went through a decade ago. I do believe, you know, having it out there in the open for people to see is going to help shift things. I mean, 10 years ago, I remember people scoffed at organic food and its high prices. And now if you go to major food stores, there's aisles of organic food. Organically grown cannabis is still a budding effort, but growers like vanilla hope it spreads throughout the Pacific Northwest and beyond.